Well, you know, we were a little bit late getting here on the bus that day, so and we lost our drummer two nights before with frostbite in his feet, and they got frozen on the bus. The bus broke down outside of uh, Duluth, Minnesota, and uh, so we got here pretty late, and uh, we had to switch around that night. Uh, Buddy played drums behind the Dion and the Belmonts, and one of the Belmonts played drums behind us. And I think Richie played drums behind the Big Bopper, and uh, just you know, it was really great to see those stars sitting back there playing drums, you know, becoming a side man and stuff. But the show was uh, sold out, and it was like 25 below zero without wind chill. And it went very well, the show did, with all the changes. And uh, Buddy had chartered an airplane early in the evening to fly to Fargo, North Dakota, for him and Waylon Jennings and me. So the big bopper had the flu, so early in the evening, Waylon gave him his seat. And Richie asked me two or three times during the night if he could have my seat, you know. We were headed to the airport. Richie was standing in the doorway right here, signing an autograph. He asked me again as we were uh, coming down the steps, he said, you gonna let me fly in your place? And that's when I reached in my pocket, pulled out a 50 cent piece, flipped it, it lit right here on the floor, and said, call it. He said, heads, and uh, it lit heads. And the rest is history. Well, that makes you wonder, you know, were you put here with a purpose, you know? But, uh, I figure the best thing I can do is promote Buddy Holly and Richie Valens' music, you know, and I try to do that every day. Even up to this date, I I didn't realize, you know, that he doesn't. To me, he's not gone. I still think that he's here. Uh, but the fiftieth anniversary this did something to me that made me a little bit sad because then. I really realized, oh my God, he's gone for 50 years. But I never thought that way. He was very adamant about his music. He was, nobody could tell Buddy, do it this way. He, he wrote his music. He, he, he said to anybody, he said, could you change this? He said, no, 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 no. We do it my way the first time, but if it doesn't work, I listen to what you have to say, but it has to be my way. As you see, 50 years later, still here, through the fans, through, um, through the way that uh, he felt was, uh, I really, really would like my music to stay here. And, and it's sort of a dream that he had, and to me right now is coming true.